Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... These fucking puppet bros, they stick their hand in there and they don't even ask permission. I want to get a cheese guy. He sends you a horse head in your bed, oh my god. Motherfucking wizards never die. Let's go! And we're back! Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's a different one. Yeah. What was that one? Is that uh That's Mario. He's getting in on the action. That was Let's go. Are we du- are we jumping into the Mario movie already? Oh, it's- oh, can we just bring, bring? <laughs> the hot news? What what was the, what was the hot news? It, that came in one ear and and out the other. I don't know if it was news. No, I think people were just a little bit upset about the casting, right? Well, what, what was the casting? But was I don't think the I don't think the internet is a, is cool with any casting, really, right? That's true. Okay. They ju- well, here's the thing: is the ma- know, Mario, that's... the voice of Mario, is going to be Chris <laughs> Pratt. And I think oh, they're kind of the mad. most Italian, <laughs> most no, Italian right. man of all time. Hey, yeah. we don't know if, that, if that's his Ellis Island name. Maybe it was Pratini. We don't know this. Yeah, okay, it's, thank you, Anders. Pratini. Yes, let's do our Gabagool! research. <laughs> I've been watching some Sopranos. Um, I, uh, it's leaking out of you. <laughs> have you? Did you watch the uh, the Many Saints of uh, Newark? That's the shit I watched last night. Why? Let spoilers. I'm gonna watch. I have never seen Sopranos in my life. Oh. I'm, really? like, I'm in season the... three right now, oh, okay. and I'm going to watch the movie after. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, as you should. It best. wouldn't make any sense if you didn't. You got to really know the characters, because I've seen all of Sopranos a couple times. Uh-huh. And uh, it, took me like, times. Ha- uh, it took me halfway through the movie to piece together who everyone is. Also, I'm bad at stuff, so right. I'm <laughs> sure if you anyone just kind of could pick it up. But me, I was... Uh, I was having a hard time with it. Yeah. I was is like, it a, is oh, it a movie? God, I think that's his mom. That's Uncle it? Junior. Yeah, it's uh it's a prequel to The Sopranos that uh, uh that it shows like Anthony growing up. Tony right. Soprano like got it. growing up. Got yeah. it, got yeah. it. That's cool. And it's cool. So if you watch the series, you like know all of like the older they they were like that generation was dying off when Tony was coming up. Right. And so you kind of clock all of them. Uh, and then now you see them as as in their prime, being wow. bat being badass gang stars, young bucks when they were cr- cracking skulls. Watching it now, I'm watching homeboy who played T1000 in the Terminator movies oh, is yeah. like this degenerate gambler guy. Oh god! And he's so good that I was like, fuck. They should have done a spinoff because he's like, I'm going to Nevada. So far, I don't know if he comes back or shows up dead or whatever. Um, but I was like, God, they should no do a spin off of his life just going to either absolute shit in out in Vegas or like almost going to shit and then somehow getting it together and being and then of course like I don't know. I was just like, he's so good at this loser. Yeah. That it, it could be interesting to see him fail or succeed out there in the desert. Oh, maybe yeah. like when he goes out to the desert, that's when he becomes T one thousand. Oh shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> law enforcement. Oh, oh. Do you think that those are yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying <laughs> to bridge a couple <laughs> worlds, you know what I mean? <laughs> like <laughs> When he says cinematic universe, he means the entire universe. All of it. Not Yeah. It's like Space Jam. It kind of tied every universe together. The new one. I'm sorry. Exactly. Uh, exactly, dude. Yeah, they bring everything in. It's like the Spielberg flick that had all the like it's all the stuff from everything. You know what I mean? Ready <laughs> player one. It's such trash. Yeah. What, Dirk, you don't like one. to watch movies and just look at the background and be like, I know that character. Right. I know that character. <laughs> It sucks. It's such oh, dude, a good, it's such a pander. It just is like garbage. It's like you don't have one original thought except for the thought of let's have everyone that who's ever been invented already together. And that's the I'm original thought. Now. No, I it's it. totally whack. I agree with you, Durs, but also I fucking love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm split right down the center on yeah, it. Yeah, it's like having it's like having a cheeseburger or pizza. You're right. like, oh wait. Did you Wait, just hold up? on. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just come up with that right now? Did you just come up with hold that right up. now? Or the fucking the Dorito tacos, right? Oh, it's, ama- it's amazing. But like, great idea. I mean, kind of a. It ain't getting a Michelin star. 
I, it wasn't the best. Hey, I understand your point, but you are not explaining. You are not making us dislike it. You <laughs> yeah, just named right. two things that we love. We're like, I Ooh. know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. Yeah, I, it's stupid. It's dumb. No, 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 I fucking no. hate no, no, it. No, no, it's no. like Dorito tacos. That's not my point. My and point like, is, uh, it's my <laughs> point is Doritos tacos is amazing. Right. Oh, okay. 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 This is okay. a backpedal. I've never heard <laughs> right. Durr's backpedal in his life. I, this, this isn't a back. No, you're. No, 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 no. But keep going, because there's another step to this, right, Anders? What are you saying? It is amazing, but yes, the next step is it's amazing, but you're not. Hey, well, Durr's quit. Quit starting and stopping. Just complete a sentence. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You know that I can't. <laughs> can't finish. Finish up. <laughs> Go. Can't it's finish. amazing, but my point is, okay. Okay. it's cool, it's fun, it's delicious, but it ain't mm -hmm. winning no Michelin star. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. that's what we're going for with our snacks. My man is a yes. metaphor king, dude. <laughs> we want Dang. Michelin stars. So, so you're saying Taco Bell is just a snack to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit! What are you talking about? That's not, 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 that's not <laughs> a meal when you run for the border. No, it's a meal. You got to get a couple of them, but it's a meal for sure. You're talking to the voice of Volcano Nachos, so don't think he's ever going to throw a Volcano dirty word. Volcano Nachos <laughs> oh, changes a man. I feel like that's just your dad. You're like, is it cool if I just do my dad? <laughs> In that commercial, you just played a, a sunburnt version of your father. <laughs> so his dad is sunburned. He's a fisherman. Yeah, that's exactly. True. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just, shit's uh, yeah, for that commercial... <laughs> That commercial I just played, uh, my dad is if my dad were in a Vietnam War veteran. Perfect. <laughs> if he was inside of a Vietnam War, war vet. Yeah. Perfect. I know we talked about that commercial on this pod, but we never posted a link to it on our uh, oh, Instagram. Yeah, we we should we're going to cut, cut to it right now. Whoa. What are those like? I'll tell you what they're like. You ever been face down in lava sauce, son? Getting ambushed by jalapenos? Your tongue's burning. But you get so crazy, heck, you start lacking the pain. What's with the voice? Volcano nachos changes a man. Volcano nachos. And we're back. <laughs> All right. Changes a man. Ooh, we're back in it. He's uh, still got it. Yeah, that uh, that makeup is a Taco Bell commercial that was basically my face for like a minute. So it was pretty cool when I was like, I think I was like 20... <laughs> Two or something when that commercial came out. It was like, uh, yeah, it was. Bless you, God bless you, Durs. Oh my God! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! you're saying? You're uh, saying? I remember that. Yeah, it was like um, early mid twenties kind of thing. Yeah, and uh, mm. I remember. Yeah, maybe it was before we got the show, so I must have been like twenty three or twenty four, somewhere in there. It was a big deal because it was on the screens and like all the bars and people were seeing yeah, it. Yeah, every bar that we went right. to, it was like you look around the screens and all of a sudden it'd be like my face on a hundred right. TV screens mm -hmm. and we were like, oh my God, did right. that change a me. man? And I'm like, I, I got paid $500 for the commercial. So not drinks on me, but. Did it change a man? But also, it was at the time when we thought that if you were in a commercial, you got free product from said yeah. place as well yes. and we thought yeah. we were going to be just neck deep in volcano nachos and that's yeah. not the case true taco neck deep you'd no. like walk into a taco bell with adam and be like pointing to him like <laughs> huh? and i'm like i'm the guy <laughs> <laughs> i know, I like, know. okay cool yeah you want a double decker taco a buck 27 i think i told you guys <laughs> when i worked at lacoste usher came in and was like can i get some free stuff and they were like no he's like i just wore lacoste in my new vi video i'll pull it up on my phone and they're like we're so sorry <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta go to corporate you gotta go to the yeah, corporate you gotta headquarters go you gotta go. you and now we get the card you gotta yeah. get the card that says your lifetime right. chipotle member whatever right. it is of course. i kind of just went through that when i because i got my specialized bike i got my yeah uh, nice oh hell yeah my electric bike it's a so sick give yeah. me a um, hell yeah i haven't been able to take it out but uh, and don't and don't and I yeah. won't. It's yeah. just going to collect rust <laughs> right. down here at the beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rust and dust and all them things. Um, but it's it was so damn nice. But I walked in and they're like, hey, can I help you? And I'm, you know, wearing a mask and shit. And I go, right. I think I'm here to get a free bike. And the guy's like, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> cool. And I'm like, I, th I think I am. And he's like, no, there's no free bikes. Thinking I'm just. And I, so I'm like, and I didn't have the contact 
Isaac, our manager, is like, yeah, you just go in there, say I need a free bike, and they'll just they'll hook you up. Right. Well, and then so it was like five minutes of me trying to explain like that I get a free bike. And why? Then, so why finally, do you get a free like, bike? I'm sorry. Yeah, why do you get it? Exactly. No! I know exactly. And then I feel weird about it. And then I'm like, well, uh, I talked about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. It's such an absurd thing. And then and then I'm like, maybe I. Uh, yeah, maybe I just buy a bike. I'm like so embarrassed right now. Right. Maybe I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> right. here's my credit card. Just I'll buy one. Right. Uh, and th but then the manager came out and, and knew what was up and and hooked it up. It was they were very nice and uh, specialized. Man, that thing yeah. was so fucking radical. Yeah, yeah. dude, that bike rocks. Oh, that sounds cool. I like that those bike. electric bikes. I think they're cool. You don't have to pedal. <laughs> You do have to pedal. You do. You do have to. It's pedal assist, oh. but you don't have to pedal hard, baby. Sorry, Bl Sorry, Kyle. You're going to have to put in some effort. Yeah. Ah, shucks. I got to get one of those, those lazy boys with wheels where you just kind of zoom around in the gas-powered mode. But it does. It's it's actually like it goes so fucking fast. I'm like, this is a motorcycle. This thing soars. Yeah. They put a governor on it, too, because I guess in other countries where they sell them, they go faster. But in, really? in the United States of America. Woo! You know how the yeah. government the government restricts <laughs> us? Dude, talk about it, Durs. Let's go. Polly Char segment. I think it's, it tops off at 28, 28 miles an hour, I think. 28? That's fast on a freaking bike. So, But you will end up going faster. If you're going downhill, like on my regular road bike, I can get it up to 40 miles an hour just bombing a hill. Okay. If you're in like a low gear. If you're in a low gear and you're pedaling down the hill too, you can get fucking going crazy. Yeah, exactly. So you get up to, I'm sure you can go, you could soar down a mountain. That's super dangerous too. That's one of the scariest things. Like I, I always remember hearing about like people in San Francisco, like bike messengers and all that. Like when you're mm -hmm. bombing those hills, oh, if you yeah. hit someone, you, you straight up like... Oh, you dog. die, you kill them, you're like a missile. Yeah, you're a human human missile. What's that movie with Joseph Gordon-Levitt where he's like a bike messenger? Oh, damn. It's so good. <laughs> oh, what was that movie? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's called like The Delivery Boy or something like that? No. What is it? The Messenger? The Messenger? Oh, sir, I don't yeah, like The it. Messenger. <laughs> yeah. The Delivery Boy. I like that. Michael Shannon's chasing him. He's just, he's just out there aggressively <laughs> delivering sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> it's about Jimmy John's. I just remember the shots from the trailer were like, whoa, what the fuck? This is the most epic shit. Freaky fast. When he, he skid slides underneath that truck. Dude. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. you have to drop down and slide under a truck. Wait, has anyone here actually seen it? No. No, no way. Oh, I've seen it. It's good. <laughs> really? Okay, right. I believe it's good. So what's what's the oh premise? He's, he just he delivers packages and his thing is he's just a fucking wild man in those streets. He gets a package he's not supposed to have or something like that. Correct. Oh, so it's transported. And then Michael Shannon is like offer him after him uh, and he doesn't have a bike. So he's like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. He, he's stuck running. Hey, go ahead, get back here. Isn't that the same exact premise of ch the transporter? Yeah, and it's probably the same premise as uh, Homer and the Odyssey. Like, exactly. <laughs> thank you, Anders. Yes, let's take it back to Oedipus. Okay, thank you. Uh, look, all these stories are recycled, okay? Yes. There's four uh -huh. stories, guys. There's yep. four stories. This is Adam and Eve, not Adam yep. and and believe are, me when I tell are, you. These are all Aesop's fables. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you God. These are all Hans it's Christian true. Andersen's tinderbox, okay? It's true. Charles yes. Dickens wrote four stories. Yas, queen. Absolutely. There's four stories in this world. The transporter. Yeah. <laughs> the messenger. The messenger. The space jam. New legacy. Castaway. <laughs> and ready player one. And soprano. Uh, <laughs> Hey, forget about it. <laughs> and the many saints of Newark. <laughs> forget the about prequel. it. And the hey, prequel. Gabble Ghoul. <laughs> since, <laughs> since none of us are East Coasters, we're West Coast and Midwesters. Midwesters. <laughs> when you heard Newark for the first time, you thought somebody was being weird and like mispronouncing New York, right? Totally, dude. I, oh, 100%. When they say what? <laughs> Newark. Newark. Oh, because, Newark. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that like, was when the people time like, I flew into watch... Newark. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> that was like when Ninja Turtles came out and it was set in New York. Buddy, just slow it down. You could say New York. You don't need to <laughs> smash the words together. Right. But then when Throw Mama from the Train came out and it was Newark, I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> okay, Kyle, preach. I know New York because as Turtles, 
Throw Mama from the Train. Is that a good movie? Is that and that is based on the Odyssey. Throw Mama from the Train. Yeah, that's a that's an iteration of. Uh, the Throw messenger. Mama from the Train. Is that Weirdly, good? I remember watching with Kyle like at your party or something. Why did we oh. rent that? Well, Kyle famously punched his mom, so I think this might have been his favorite movie. <laughs> he's like, I gotta see this. <laughs> famously yeah. punched his mom. So he's throwing her from a train, is he? During that time of Kyle's life, he was just watching that movie over and over and over. <sighs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I wish this were real, Mom. I wish it was Don't Tell the Babysitter, Mom's Dead. <laughs> I wish the title of this movie was real. Guys, stop. I love my mother. We know. We know. I love her. Yeah. Come on. We went, It was a tough, you know, whatever. She had three boys in the house. We had to, We were crazy. I'm sorry, Mom. It was Mama. a tough 18 years. Well, it was you, a tough, <laughs> Yeah, we were crazy. It was a tough 37 years. I don't remember the... I don't remember the premise. All I remember is the last, like, I remember at some point, Danny. Uh, is it a good movie? I remember the premise. Isn't it built? Danny DeVito gets called a buoy with hair. And that I remember. And I thought that was a good heat. Hey, funny. Who's the second male? Who's the second male lead besides Danny DeVito? Do you it's recall? It's Crystal. Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. I believe Billy. No, you're thinking of Stop or My Mom Will Shoot with Sylvester yes. Stallone and Estelle <laughs> Getty. Which is an amazing yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Great cover. She kills it. I, uh, yeah, she's amazing. Yes. I think that's oh, one yeah. where like sh he's a cop and she. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She's also a super dope old granny cop. He's a cop, and the <laughs> apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> uh, Throw Mama from the Train is like Danny DeVito hires Billy Crystal, or Billy Crystal hires Danny DeVito to kill his mother. That sounds... And their right. plot is to kill her on the train. And it's and the lady from Goonies, right? Right, yes. It's it's the grandma from Goonies, yes, it is. You've <laughs> never seen Goonies? <laughs> never seen it, not of him. <laughs> Is that real? Blake, I thought you hated Goonies because of the... I thought you oh, hated yeah. Goonies. <laughs> Remember Blake's hard stance of hating Goonies, like a movie that everyone loves? It's all because what? of the resolution he watched it at. Yeah, it's because he watched like a, a, a VHS copy. <laughs> Which, guys, you that know, someone you realize... Someone copied it from their, from their TV in like 92. Yeah, it's better on Blu-ray. Laser discs. I'll, I'll check it out. Sloth Love it, Chunk, Baby Ruth. I know the quotes. I know I know the gist, okay? So you've never seen it? No, 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 no. You don't know the context. You don't know... Quotes aren't the movie. That Baby Ruth was a candy bar? Duh. What about duh? Huh? <laughs> Doesn't Sloth say duh? Huh? No. <laughs> no. He says Rocky Road. <laughs> Rocky Road. <laughs> and then his ear <laughs> bends forward and winks. Duh? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah uh, well, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it's Captain Chunk. You gotta see that movie, dude. It's science. Thank you, God. I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, it was that grandma. Yeah. It was probably her. It was probably her. This shit's important. There's only so many good uh, grandmas in film. What are legendary grandmas of motion pictures? <laughs> yeah. Good, 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 good. Well, that woman, I was trying to think of stop. Uh, what's the one that you just mentioned? The Sylvester Stallone one? Don't shoot or my mom will shoot. Stop or my mama will shoot. Well, we had... Uh... Stop or my mom will shoot. Yeah. yeah, stop or my mom will shoot. She was very funny in that movie. I remember, she was like a wise crap. We had one of the great uh the great yeah. actresses great grandmothers yeah Estelle Getty of cinematic history Cloris mm -hmm. Leachman mm -hmm. in oh, Game dude, Over Man I was just looking at a picture that yeah. popped up cut her ass out and then and then cut her out I was just look I know which uh, I was just looking at a picture that popped up of me like sitting next to her on that day when she was on set and I was like god yeah. we need to release that we need to release that opening Rest because in peace. Yeah, it's just sitting on a hard drive somewhere, and that was fucking cool. That was a cool opening. I see her. I just yeah. saw her recently in some older movie, and I was like, oh, shit. She was in so much stuff. Maybe she was even, yeah. like, hosted, like, the Muppet Show one time. And it was Probably. like, oh, damn. Yeah. Which would be an yeah. honor. It would be such an honor. Oh, honor. yeah. I would, I would host the Muppet Show with you. How come you none know, like, of us have been on Sesame Street or the Muppet Show? It's I think not... we might be a little <laughs> dirty for... For mm -hmm. their style, but uh, yeah. they don't. They got Oscar the Grouch. So they don't need another dirty dumpster diver like us. Yeah, we're dirty dogs. 
Man, come on. Let me get let me let me get in a scene with Grover. We should be hanging with the Grouch. Let's yeah, hang I'm, with the Grouch. I'm trying yeah. to kick it with my homies Bert and Ernie. Are they gay together? You'll never I'll never tell. I'll never tell. I thought that they said they were. Didn't they just announce that somebody's gay? I think so. Yeah, but when I'm there with them, like am I am I fucking all of them? I think they did. <laughs> <laughs> they're afraid to, they're they go back into the closet because of adam <laughs> hey, i don't know I, i'll never tell i'll never he's, tell he's huh. the friend that they can't be themselves around <laughs> right fuck <laughs> they go back they're like oh that. hey adam yeah no man we love watching football with you dude it's freaking cool not that gay people can't watch football <laughs> go huskers <laughs> it's just like uh just don't judge us i feel like we could do a cool like we could do like a cool curse word section with Oscar the Grouch. Oh, that's like, yeah. I feel like that's our thing. Yeah. Right. That would be oh, where yeah. we'd get on there is like of like what's the naughty words? You can't say fuck you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that's the count. Don't say yeah. fuck. Go uh, fuck uh, yourself. Uh, uh. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Snuffle up against talk. You could say hell. Yeah, he had a real weird voice. I feel like he was kinda like really Oh, he was hell sad. I don't think I like him. I was like, this guy's a loser. His eyelashes were weird, dude. Oh, dude. He was like depressing. <laughs> I did do a thing with uh, Fozzie Bear and uh, Miss Piggy. Oh, yeah. Weird, wild stuff. <laughs> They're cool. Wait, was Miss Piggy? That's on the Muppets, right? Yeah, Muppets. That's okay. But not Sesame Street. Oh, we're talking Sesame well, Street. Well, that's isn't Sesame Street. Yeah. Aren't there they? is a line there, right? There isn't a line totally because you know who crosses the line? Who? Kermit. Kermit, Kermit the Frogs on True. both. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is cool. weird. Good point, Blake. But Kermit was like a guest. I feel like Ger Kermit was a guest on Blake Sesame Street. Blake fucking shuts it down. Like, he's not a part of the fucking cast. He was like a guest. Right. I'm just being real. No, Kermit Kermit was very in there. He was like the news reporter. He'd be like, but Kermit the, the Frog here reporting live. I don't think that's Sesame Street. Is that Sesame Street? Mm -hmm. He just uh, Relax, Kyle. Yes. He just wanted to do his impression. He just needed a uh, moment. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can do it more. Do it again. What did it sound like? Go ahead. Yeah, I can't. Hello, this is Kermit the Frog here, reporting live from the pond. That's pretty from good. the pond. That was pretty exactly. good. That was honestly yeah. pretty good. Do you know yeah. Brian Henson personally? Kermit, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> uh, admittedly, doing when I did that thing with uh, Fozzie and I think it was Miss Piggy, uh, like the people that the puppeteers were so fucking cool. Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Of course they're cool. They were all like they were all like 70 years old, oh, just yeah. like hilarious older guys that High you could fuck. just Oh bro, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell that they like <laughs> were just acid heads back in the day. These guys, these guys I'm like, oh, they were so they were just funny as hell and cool. I'm like, yeah. man, what a cool gig that they've had for 50 years. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. One of the coolest things I did while I was in Atlanta shooting Woke Season 2 coming soon next year uh, nice. was go to the, the, the puppetry center, like the museum, and they have a whole wing dedicated to Jim Henson, and they have all these photos from, like, the 70s where it's them, like, coming up with the show, and mm -hmm. it's just, like, behind the scenes, so it's just, like, all these hippie bros with their hands up puppets' asses just standing there, but it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, dude. man, what a cool time. The dream. Did you say puppet bros? Puppet bros. <laughs> Why? What are you? Well, is it? I thought, you know who I can't stand? Fucking puppet Let's bro. go! These puppet bros puppet are bros. ruining puppetry. Everyone's got to be a fucking puppet bro now. <laughs> it used to be puppet artists, and now yeah. it's puppet bros. They get into the whole thing for the wrong reason. Crank anchors changed everything. They scream, let's go, before yeah. They're every adding time. weights. <laughs> <laughs> They're adding weights to their puppets. And just <laughs> Get a little work. shoulder workout. <laughs> <laughs> They're just working yeah. their lats. It drives me okay, crazy. Okay, places, please, people. <laughs> Let's go. Could you imagine Jim <sighs> Henson just with <sighs> two weighted puppets? like? <laughs> no, these fucking puppet bros, they stick their hand in there and they don't even ask permission. Um what? Why is there a museum of puppetry in Atlanta? Is Jim Henson from Atlanta? I don't think he is, actually. That was, like, the weird part huh. of it. <laughs> no, there's I one think... up in Seattle, too, though. I remember seeing it up in Seattle. 
there's like... My follow-up like, question is, why is there a puppetry museum in Seattle? Well, I just, ah. I think it was just coming through when I saw it up there. It was okay. like... an exhibit. Because I saw it in LA when it was at the Getty. Yeah, I think it moves. Like, I saw like Beaker and, and I saw the puppets as well. It was very cool. Well, this museum is a permanent installment in Atlanta. It's very oh. cool. It's just one wing of it is dedicated to Jim mm. Henson and they have a ton of like sick relics. But then the other yeah. wing is like puppets... Uh, throughout history and of the world and those are mad interesting too but there must be a huge puppet market down there in atlanta or something that's probably in its roots yeah a lot of puppet bros <laughs> in yeah. atlanta <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking cool the bro puppet scene. Bros. <laughs> it's insane Pup puplana the puppet bro scene is Dude. totally as kyle would say vibro <laughs> in atlanta bro. it's well. just like lifted trucks and freaking just lots of felt <laughs> Just tons of felt and googly uh -huh. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Lifted trucks and puppet nuts. Bro, I love your gonzo. Right. <laughs> your gonzo yeah. is sick. Yeah. That's fucking epic. Gonzo is sick too. I'd love to do a scene with Gonzo. That'd be amazing. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Uh, Mu Muppet Babies was like like a head and shoulders above almost every cartoon to me. It just seemed like a whole nother level. Why don't you say head and shoulders above? I watched a lot of that. Because remember the mom? You couldn't see. You couldn't see. Yep. Um, you just saw her socks and stuff. Well, it was just something cool. Like, I mean, that's why Rugrats rule, yeah. too. It's just uh, like giving a voice to these babies that can't talk. And then they like, that's why Rugrats was, ruled. It's like when they're around the parents, like, goo goo gaga. And then as soon as the parents leave, they're like, yo, this is what's up. Right, Angelica's right. a bitch. But you had parents in Rugrats. You had parents in Rugrats. You had Stu and the dad and Chucky's dad and shit. That's right. Kyle fucking got you, Adam. <laughs> so it's a little different, bro. It's just it's a, a different, different show. It is a different show. It's a different show. I'm saying that. That's, oh, right. Yeah, correct. I'm not saying they're the same yeah. show. They're not. They aren't exactly the same show. But if you had to go Muppet Babies versus right. fucking, if you had to go Rugrats, Muppet Babies versus Rugrats, where are you? Don't, where don't are you landing? Do that. Where are you landing? Oh, that's a hot. That's a. Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah oh no. my god. Oh, wait, oh we're gonna do this. Oh, we're doing this right Let's now. Let's do it. Muppet Babies v. Rugrats. Dude, that is a line in the sand. We're going to do this right now. Oh, shh. I think I got to go Muppet Babies. Oh, okay. You can yeah. have that. Nice. Nice. Muppet, Muppet Babies. You can have that. You can have oh, that. Oh, God, Durs, you're throwing me back. Deek. Uh, I'm a Rugrat boy all the way. And I think that's... Okay. I think what happened... You mean you're a Rugrat. Dong, 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 dong. I'm a Rugrat. Yeah. I think uh, what it was for me is when Rugrats were the hot shit. I think mm -hmm. Rugrats might be... We all know. Reptar, yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, a little too young for you, Durs. I think that's why you were... Uh, okay. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm exactly... I'm split right down the middle. No, that is true. Okay. Muppet Babies was out, pre, was out before the Rugrats. That so is you correct. Might have, you might have aged out of the rats by the time it was hot. I didn't because I I remember when it premiered. It was okay. Doug oh, followed shit. by yep. Rugrats followed yep. by Ren and Stimpy every Sunday morning. Oh, Ren and Stimpy. They when put I'd be Ren like, and Stimpy in the morning. Yep. That seems a little. Dude, that was when they were sneaking that shit on kids. It was called uh, fuck Nicktoons. I think it was called Nicktoons. Right? Yeah. No, no, specifically a thing called Nicktoons on Sundays. Right. That Can was you like guys watch uh there's a documentary called The Orange Years, I want to say. The Orange Years. It's on Netflix. That I watched on a plane. Yeah, and uh it was fucking awesome. It's all about Nickelodeon at that time when they started to make original programming and right. started uh with you can't say that on television, which mm. was like a Canadian you can't show. Do yeah. Do that on television. Yeah. Do that on television. And then they segued to their own stuff with Double Dare and all that right. and then into cartoons and right. you were just like, "Holy shit, they were on a fucking run." Bro, that's yeah. all I watched. Like, that's mm -hmm. all I watched was Nickelodeon. That was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Not to mention, like Muppet Muppet Babies was Nickelodeon as well, right? Or yeah, but I think it was syndicated into Nickelodeon. No. I think they grabbed. No, it. no, maybe it wasn't. It was not. It was not. It was a well, CBS uh, TV show, I believe, uh, produced yeah. by Deke. Yeah, Deke, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, Deke. D I K. Deke. At the end of it. Uh, D I C. D I C. Okay, I spelled it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you say D I K? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, I Perfect. did. Perfect. Uh, whoopsies. <laughs> I guess hey, you're like Perfect. A... Also, help. Hey, wait. Help my stoned ass memory because okay. is the Fraggle Rock? <laughs> is hey, right. that boy? 
Okay. Bad boy. Is the Fraggle Rock in okay. Muppet Babies? Is that where did Fraggle Rock come from? Is that Muppet Babies? Fraggle Rock was an Fraggle HBO Rock's show whole. separate. It's Jim Henson, but it's a it's completely different but show. Did they make a were they in the show? Were they no. in the show as cartoons? No. Skeeter was kind of he looked like one of those so, Fraggles, but no. And his his sister. Fraggle Rock was my shit. I loved Fraggle Rock. Yeah, you look like a doozer. That was gonna be the decider for me. Yeah. <laughs> bull doozer. Yeah, I look like a bull doozer. Mm-hmm. Uh, bull yeah. doozer. I mean Dude. that's where it came from. You named your wizard rap character. I mean you met a wizard rapper <laughs> named Bulldozer, and you guys hit it off. So I'm I'm writing my vows right now for the wedding, and uh, oh yes, go now, now. let's go uh, right now. So uh, if I, I want you to be the Fraggle to my Doozer, let's no, go. It, it did uh, the first draft of it was like I, a lot of references to the wizards. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? What? I, I've uh, since up, uh, I've since toned it toned it back uh-huh. and, and pulled those references out but uh, th- wow. this, is why, this is why you should do a few drafts of your vows so you don't just uh, come I in gotta real ask, hot with, yeah. I gotta ask Wait, why, what, what, what what and were why the were these references <laughs> was it wizards never die much like love <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was the end I swear to you that was how I was gonna oh, end it and then I was gonna start it with uh, to quote Chloe's favorite 2006 seminal hip hop <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh rap God. syndicate from another world mm-hmm. the wizards poof pow surprise what's with your eyes I'm so <laughs> hypnotized and I still am and then oh and then God. go into the vows wow. and then end with as they say motherfucking wizards never die much like our love I love you Chloe shut up oh, and man. Yeah. <laughs> you can't huh. so we're uh, talking. I'm glad we're talking about this. I'm glad yeah, we're talking yeah, yeah, this through. Yeah, yeah this so is good. So I wrote this is good. that draft, right. and then and then gave it a, gave it a day. Slept on it. Yeah, good. And then came back and looked at it in in the the morning light and was like, ah, no, nah, yeah, <laughs> no. Nah. When you say morning light, it's nah. like after you sobered up. Did you write it very drunk? <laughs> no, not drunk. Haven't drank for like over a month. Boo. Okay, okay. I know. Don't yeah, it, don't like it. it sucks. Actually, I hate it. Hey, there you go. There you go. It sucks. <laughs> what happened? Oh, Why are you doing it then? Well, I tried to. Uh, are you trapped? Are you trapped somewhere? I mean, yeah. good for yeah. you. A month is a month is a long time to go without a little drink yeah, of drink. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I uh, it was I I had a it was like the the bachelor party and everything, and then like a few other things where I was just like kind of drinking and eating a lot like a pig, and I was like pushing two hundred pounds. And I look at the mirror, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm five foot eight. I can't be 200 pounds. That's a big right. fucking boy. And I'm like, oh, man, I got a wedding. I have this movie, uh, The Outlaws, that I'm going to be shooting right after the right. wedding. So I'm like, I got to roll right into that. I got to tighten up the well, game. Well, then you got to be 200 if you're going to roll into it. I know, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. And, uh, <laughs> points, points. Let's go. And so I did that. And then and then this week, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, you know, uh, two weeks ago, I was like, oh, I might have a drink or two, you know, but, you know, really tighten it up before yeah. the wedding so two weeks ago not a month two weeks ago no but yeah. a month ago i stopped okay just and checking. then two weeks ago i got covid i got oh, COVID. Whoa, right. wait yeah. whoa wait hold on hold on <laughs> yeah so that i talked about that the other day but uh yeah. yeah so then i got fucking covid and actually like and i'm vaccinated which is fucked up breakthrough so, uh breakthrough <laughs> and and everyone that i've heard that has had a breakthrough mm-hmm. uh they're like, oh, they it loved was nothing, it, right, dude? It was like it was in and out of my system in a day. It fucking knocked my ass to the ground for like three yeah. days. I had a fever. Oh my god! I was like all fucked up. I'm like, <laughs> uh, today's my tenth, my tenth day. I'm ending my quarantine today, <laughs> right. and I'm I'm fine finally. Mm-hmm. Like I'm oh finally. Fine. I did hear on the same day I heard about you. I heard about another friend of mine in New York who's a writer, and he said him and his wife had a breakthrough case, and it knocked him down for three weeks. Oh, dude. goodbye! I'm so After p- post vaccination, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so what? glad that ours wasn't that bad, and we're we're both testing negative and everything already, so that's mm-hmm. that's a good thing. But I was for a minute, I was like. Am I gonna have to cancel the fucking wedding? Oh, that would like, be after so everything. terrible. This yeah. would be a goddamn nightmare. So uh, I that's been, life, dude. That would have been crazy. I would have kept those tickets and still gone just to kind of <laughs> celebrate for you. You know? I know. I know. Every ev- everybody would have. Yeah, yeah. Everyone would have. And we've already paid for everything. 
And I was like talking to Chloe. I'm like, how do we get our money back? Yeah. Uh, especially for like the booze. I'm like, because the 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 fucking you know, it's like a right. lot of money for the the bar yeah. tab. And I'm like, yeah. well, they're not they're, they're like they're not just going to throw away the alcohol. They're going right. to keep the alcohol. We yeah. Start the- no, alcohol stays stays good. No, thankfully you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, right? Oh, for sure, it stays. So you're saving up. You're gearing up for the wedding. That's when you're going to kind of break the seal. Uh, yeah, basically, and also just like. Wow! <laughs> I wanted to get better, so I'm not gonna. Even though I felt fine the last, wow, the last four or five days, I didn't want to then, yeah. like slide back into sickness because I just wanted yeah, yeah. some delicious Ashlands. So now you're like you're like vaccinated and you yeah, have baby. antibodies, so you can pretty much go anywhere. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Which, <laughs> well, you yeah, make, so I'm wait, I'm I'm so, hella strong now. But you you were like. You, Fairly good about wearing your mask and shit and like and being safe or are we on the air? I think I got it on. Uh, are we recording? Um, <laughs> Is this live? No, I think I got it on work. The last week of work I had on the Righteous Gemstones, I uh, it was all night shoots. So I think my ge- my body. Yeah, you get run down. I was just run down. And, yeah. and right. And I was around people with covid before just casually <laughs> well because i know because we get tested three times a week yeah sure. you knew sure. there was some shit so there would be there would be people in scenes where they like, come back stuff. from the scene and they're gone oh yeah yeah and you're like well where did they go and they're like they tested positive they had to go home and you're like oh, right. shit. so oh. i was with them earlier in the day but i test right. negative so it's fine right but mm. uh so i've been around people with covid before but then now I think it's just because I was so run down from like the stress of like yeah. planning the wedding, my Prepped dad in. having, you know, brain radiation, all the shit, all the other thing that go- you're blaming your dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're blaming your father. Yeah. And uh, I'm blame. It's cool. it's my cancer. <laughs> it's most of your dad's yes, fault. Boys! It's my cancer <laughs> father. Right. All that stuff. Baby COVID. You, you wish he was dead. Yeah. And it's his fault. That shit's important. <laughs> yeah. And uh, nightmare. yeah. So I so I think I think it was that. And then it just. It just fucking yeah. hit me. That's wild. Did you ha- so fever or or cough like phlegmy lung wet wet lung? Oh, dude, I had everything. I had one hundred percent all the symptoms. I was like, I don't know what they I are. Was, I I I <laughs> had a, a bad temp. It was like one hundred and two or something. Mm. Dude, uh, big, uh, big temperature, uh, big hot. I had a, a so hot. <laughs> I had chills. That's a big hot. <laughs> That's a big hot. Did you have a big uh, hot? I had a big hot. I had a headache for like days and days and days. I'm still like pretty tired. I'm yeah. just like Did you tired have the all the diarrhea? time. Oh, uh, dude. The <laughs> diarrhea was unrelenting. The trot. And it only lasted for one day. But the it was like of diarrhea. I was like, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm going to shit my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you, I'm just like, I watched five seasons worst. of Friday Night Lights. No, nice. uh, that's oh, all that's I did. Great. I just I just turned my brain off and just watched Friday Night Lights <laughs> right. for like a week straight. Uh, yeah, but oh. but I'm back now, baby. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that's Solid like groups. good job, buddy. After hearing you say, I wish like they made masks that had it where they would tell you. Hell, it's almost too solid. Now. Tell me about it. <laughs> if when you have encountered that was my problem, that's my problem. What are you saying, Blakey? Like I want to, I, I just want to know my stats. Like how many times I've been around COVID, like with a mask or whatever, and I've avoided it and I've dodged the bullet. It's just like, uh, yeah, always. dozens of times. Yeah, yeah, just like in Starbucks because mm-hmm. you've you've gone out you because you know you've gone out to bars and restaurants and stuff. Yeah. You, if there? you're around a certain amount of people, you're you're around. Yeah, COVID. You're around. Yeah. Uh, COVID is my friend. <laughs> and especially I was in the South. I was in Charleston, South Carolina. Right. And there's a lot of unvaccinated people mm-hmm. in South Carolina. And, uh, you know, I know for a fact I was. And I was like, am I superhuman? Because I hadn't gotten it yet. <laughs> right. And that's a cool way to that's a cool way like, to think. Because wait, what's yeah. your blood? What's your blood type, Adam? Because that was a rumor I heard. Oh, oh, negative. Dude. Yeah. I heard a rumor swirling that like, oh, negative is like immune like you're you can't get it oh really i'm oh yeah that's yeah really yeah that's, i'm oh positive what about oh positive am i good oh baby no you could get it easier <laughs> am actually I good? yeah it's no science. you get it yeah, extra you might be dead you're Wait, probably a ghost for me to get it it's easy yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. i don't know nice what i heard was o negative i don't know yeah. about o positive but o, so o neg you, you shouldn't be alive so you have dispelled that uh rumor 
because you got well, it. Well, I got it. I think I was just like, I was exhausted, dude. Uh, that, that last mm-hmm. week, I was like having a hard time switching into nights. One night, I got one hour of sleep. And then it was like three or four uh, days that week where I only got like three or four hours of sleep. Right. Yeah. So I think I was just like, I, uh, if I if I wouldn't have gotten COVID, I would have just been regularly sick. Mm-hmm. Right, so I, right. I just dude, got I did, that. I did hear something the other day where if you smoke a certain strain of sativa, Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. okay. Cool. Hey, there's gonna be a cool. Yeah, it coats the lungs and it blocks the. There's gonna be a cool CDC like uh, <laughs> warning before it. this. We're gonna put a link to that. What I'm guessing is a university research. Uh, Cal State Berkeley. I am gonna say allegedly. A buddy on set told me about it, but yeah, allegedly it's Humboldt College. Right. One. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. It's all up. Oh my Nor God. Cal's like, yeah, put it out. Hey, uh, uh, <laughs> Bulldog from Props. Yeah, it's uh, it's E40 <laughs> Community College. <laughs> it's cookies are better. I'm in Alabama right now, and mm-hmm. apparently, I don't know if the stat was last month or last year or something, but more people died than <laughs> were born in this state, mostly because of COVID. And I was like, Oh uh, my God, sick. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's sick. terrifying. Yeah. That's really scary, but yeah. it also means what nobody's nobody's yeah. fucking out there or what nobody's yeah, having what's babies. Going on? Like yeah, no one's, no one's fucking. I think people are like they gave up fucking. Oh my god, they quit. That's the first thing we yeah. do is start fucking They're again. Too sick. They're giving up fucking. Right. Uh, yeah. How's the movie going, Jersey? Uh, it's going. I've had a... Does Bobby D remember you? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a movie. I'm down here in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, it's a Sebastian Maniscalco movie. It's kind of his like, not his life story, but a story from his life. And that's why you're watching Sopranos, mm-hmm. getting in the Italian. <laughs> that's what everyone says. And I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, I feel like such a weirdo. <laughs> uh, but no, are. I'm watching the Sopranos. Gabba cool. uh, Yeah, and I don't know if that's a bad thing to say or not, so I'm not going to repeat it. Hey. I, don't, I don't know what it even is, but. Yeah, it might be. Chris Pratt, motherfucker. Fuck yeah. you. Hey, Martini. <laughs> Uh, but we had like a table read before we started shooting and Bob rolls in and we're all kind of like sitting around. We, um, go Robert De Niro. He's talking about Robert De Niro. So De Niro Niro plays, uh, (laughs) Sebastian's pops and, uh, they're like full on like Italian. It's, it's great. Anyway. So he comes in, (laughs) we're doing the table read. Everyone's kind of introducing themselves around the table. I'm like, Hey, I'm Anders. I'm playing lucky. And he kind of leans over, looks at me and Gives me the finger point like, hey. No way. I yeah. love that. So, guys. No fucking way, dude. Let's just say he remembered me. Forget <laughs> about it. Impact. Not an option. <laughs> you made an that. impact on him. Okie dokie. You're kidding me. He didn't Bobby forget D. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby D didn't forget about you. No. <laughs> hey, and I got some nice flowers from him right here. I got some orchids. You're kidding me. He's a professional. He, what a he, freaking class act. He, actually, I'm you know what? It. And Adam knows this from doing the intern. When you're in like the main cast, Bob sends you like a little letter that says break a leg with like mm-hmm. like his from his stationery and stuff and you're just like oh it's so cool this I have mine framed. framed yeah you framing it I thought you were gonna say he sends you a yeah. horse head in your bed oh my god so, so these are stereotypes <laughs> that I'm sure he's been battling his whole life and you're just kind of joking about them and yeah maybe I'm Bob um, but no he is a uh, class yeah. in that because he knows awesome. he knows like it's pretty exciting he's to like, work with you're me you're gonna want this yeah here yeah Oh, oh, are you freaking kidding? They're going to want this. Do you remember when he would like bring his cheese guy on the set? I just <laughs> talked about it the other day. Yeah. He's got he, a like, cheese guy? He, He's got yeah. a cheese guy? He, uh... <laughs> He had a cheese guy that would come on set that From the he's Bronx. like, he's like, uh, he'd come up and be like, hey, I don't know if you saw, but, uh... I got my uh, cheese guy uh, for spinning some mozzarella. And he was like homemade, like spinning mozzarella, right. like in the parking lot. And pizza, you come pizza. out and he'd give you like little mozzarella what? balls on a stick. Yeah. And you would just eat mozzarella. So nice. On a stick or like yeah. a skewer? Well, no, here's a weird thing. Or like a, a branch? Like a skewer, like a little skewer of mozzarella. <laughs> this is Bob we're talking about, a branch. Here's another weird thing. On his birthday... On his birthday, on the intern, he, his cheese guy came, and he just had these giant plates Stop. of spoons full of ricotta, period. Ooh. Ooh. And he's coming pizza. around, and, and then I'm like, bro, Ooh. am I for real about to just eat a spoon of ricotta? And people are like, it's pretty good. And I was like, all right, I'll grab one so I'm not like a jerk. Yeah, I, I eat it. 
and instantly grabbed three more spoons. Yeah, I'm like, so damn good. Don't, don't, don't go away from here. I'm like, it was so fucking good with like a little so dollop of, um, you know, olive oil on it. Yeah, uh, olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> eating. Oh my Wait. god, <laughs> so good. I want to get a cheese guy. I remember. I remember. Uh, De Niro was he like he'd come to set and he wasn't in wardrobe yet. And he was wearing his actual watch and we were re rehearsing the scene before we all went into hair and makeup mm -hmm. and um, he had his actual watch and it was like, I forget what it was, but I like watches and I mentioned that I liked his watch and I and I had my watch on and he was mm -hmm. like, oh, you like watches, huh? And I'm like, uh-huh. Cute watch, cute watch. Oh, and, you uh, like time? <laughs> Anders can't even tell time. <laughs> <laughs> Anders can't. My best friend Anders can't tell time, but that's cool you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to remember him. <laughs> He can't this tell is, time. That's memorable. I'm going to remember him. I won't remember you. Uh, he, forget about me. I, I'm going to forget about you. Uh, he goes, here, I'll give you my watch guy. And I like threw away the card immediately because I was like, there's Let's no go. way in hell that I can afford De Niro's watch guy. Like, there's Yo, no way I would be able to afford maybe. a watch. Maybe. Now I wish I had it. But that, yeah, that was there like we go. Eight years ago or wow. Well, Durst, can you ask Adam if he can get in touch with his yeah. watch guy one more time? <laughs> Please hook yeah. me like, up I don't with your watch about. guy. I'll be like, Damn. hey, your watch guy. He's like, I, I don't know who you're talking about. Never right. heard of him. Not a fan. Didn't anyone tell you there's a huge black hole of my memory from that <laughs> movie? <laughs> Forgot about it. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I the had whole like first half of the movie. I hey, don't remember. Anders, you're a size 12 shoe, right? I remember that. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm going to my buddy Adam's wedding. You said you're going to your buddy <laughs> wedding. I missed. There was like a part in there I couldn't. I couldn't even hear. It's like a bad drive through speaker. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, it, just to reiterate, and I've told this on the podcast before, but I saw Robert De Niro backstage at some award show and he comes through and I go, hey, Bob, and he stops and just looks at right at me. Mm -hmm. And I was like waiting for him to be like, oh, hey, but he didn't say anything. And then I weirdly like stood my ground right. and didn't introduce myself, which is admittedly a weird thing to do. Uh, but I was just like kind of like, like deer in headlights style. You you want it. Yeah, you want and it. And I wanted him to go like, oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, Adam, the intern, remember? Right. Uh, but he didn't do that. He just stared and looked at me for, <laughs> I swear to you, like 20 seconds of just like looking mm -hmm. at me. And then he goes, huh. Yeah, and no. then walked away. I'm right. sure it was like five you seconds, lose. but it felt right. like two yeah. and a half minutes. You get and what he goes, you give. I'm going to forget about this. And then Chloe was like, Goodbye. was right next to <laughs> yeah. me. And she goes, what? What the fuck was that? And I'm right. like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Durs, right. you better be getting out all your forget about it jokes here. Because if you bring those to set, De Niro's going to crack up too hard. And he might hurt his tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Do not say gobble ghoul around De Niro. We don't know what it means. We don't know what it means. Gobble ghouls. Well, now um, I'm trying to think if I had like unlimited fame or and money, not that it, unlimited money, but like what kind of guy would I have with me? Like a cheese oh, guy is yeah. such a specific, That's a cool good, yeah. fucking flex. Like what a great pull. Well, I think if you have starred in like 10 of the biggest like mafia type movies of all mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. you're just going to have a cheese guy. The cheese guy is going <laughs> to find you right. and be like, hey, I'm your cheese you. guy now. Anytime well, right. you you need cheese, I'm your guy. Yeah, because it's like he just brings you the spoon of ricotta, and he's like, "Hey, man, I'll bring the spoon of ricotta this. anywhere right. you go." Oh, you're gonna love this anywhere. Oh, you're gonna love this ricotta. You're beating cheese guys away. <laughs> to yeah. be honest, like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, so you gotta weed cheese through. guys. Hey, Look, if, if this your guy is better than that guy's ricotta, you could come with me. If this guy offends you, if this guy's a gabagool and of any at all, are you reading? Are you reading in the notes in the producer? Gabagool uh, gab is a nickname for capicola, pork, which is pork shoulder. Pork, pork shoulder. So you're just calling somebody. Oh, yeah, I've had a capicola. A pork shoulder. So yeah. you're just saying a That's food. That's a cool nickname. What's that little pork shoulder? Little pistol starter. I just watched the Saints of Newark last night, and I swear they were like saying gabagool is like. <laughs> You fucking idiot! Wait, like, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. yeah, isn't it's like calling it's like calling somebody a piece of baloney. Yeah, <laughs> gangs of New York isn't he a butcher though? I didn't say yeah. gangs of New York. I said the he many said, saints of Newark. 
Oh, which is the uh, <laughs> Sopranos. And we're back to it. We're back to it. <laughs> it's the New York Newark thing, bro. I yeah. just fucked yeah. it. Yeah. But also, <laughs> when they're naming towns and cities, who thought it was a good idea to be like, no, I said Newark, actually. It's different. <laughs> And they're like, because yeah. we already have a New York up here. Yeah, it's like yeah. right there. It's right there. And you said Newark. <laughs> it's just right across the bridge. So it's really, really close. I oh, feel you're like you New just York? said you were going to start Newark. in New York, but no, there no, no, is no. one. No, I'm going to New. I said Newark. I'm going to New York. It's a, there's a G at the end. It's New York. It's right down the block. Okay. Well, now just the bit is different because that's not even a place. Right. Why do you do stick you... in the confines of the bit? How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. All right. I hey. refuse. The confines of the bit. Blake doesn't color in the lines, man. He goes outside of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can tell. I see uh, his shirts are <laughs> all tie dye, crazy yeah. colors. Yeah. 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 He's a crazy boy. Uh, well, ha Durs, how many other ways could we take a city by a city that sounds like a city? But it's already there. <laughs> It's our the the joke is. I oh, know, but I was trying to expand on the joke and go New but York. Then, <laughs> but then you might as well just go a, puke dork, and it's like or do, hey, but hey, puke hey, dork funny. doesn't exist. Hey, do York, do York. Hey, Durs. <laughs> yeah. Do York. Do York. When Mountain Dew takes over New York. Okay, guys. How how improv works oh, is we yes biscuit. and each other. I yeah. admit that New York yeah. was a stretch. <laughs> And yes. uh, and I we probably wouldn't have walked down that road if Blake didn't lead us down it. But mm -hmm. now right. that Blake led us down New York, I feel like we <laughs> gotta walk down this road. With it, man. Well, now, Adam, well, let's all be honest. There is something very very satisfying Sunday. and funny about it. every once in a while just dropping a huge deny. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> the, the crowd loves it. The you crowd love it. loves it. Well, you can take it and throw it right into, right into fucking New York, and now come up with a Mountain Dew premise. New premise. Oh. Thank you. Hey Kyle, Kyle, what up? No, you can't. No. <laughs> oh, Zip it. Oh wow, this shit's important, dude. Someone just crashed their car <laughs> listening to that shit. <laughs> so good, Anders. I I'll walk it down New York you if you guys want. Bafango. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, gobbly go gook. Go. Give me a pork shoulder. <laughs> I think it's bafangul that you think, not gabagul. Bafangul? Oh, yeah, that's bafangul. What is bafa? Maybe that's it. Yeah, bafangul. What do we say? I, by the way, I don't know. Let me just preface or uh, po let me just post face. Bafangul! <laughs> it's going to be cool. I don't dirt. know what I just said, so please don't cancel me. <laughs> you're going to get kicked off of the movie you're on tomorrow. <laughs> We're not airing this. <laughs> yeah, this is this in the shitter. They don't know. know. He doesn't know what it means. He's just saying it. He doesn't know. That's what he's trying to say. It's okay. Gabagool. <laughs> Why are we doing do bafon? I'm not finishing it. No, we want bafon Oh, Italian wannabes. <laughs> People some okay. So that's okay. Oh, perfect. Use by Italians to define Italian wannabes. People that want to be Oh yeah. That yeah, are posers, yeah. basically. Okay, yeah. Okay. So that's Blake. Hey. So that's that's what we're doing. That's what that's what's happening right now. Yeah. yeah. So we're we are being a bunch of gabagools. <laughs> right we now. are chuggy <laughs> gabagools. And it's close to Halloween, so maybe I'm a gabagool. Oh. <laughs> Durs, yeah. is that okay, or can you kill that? <laughs> Jesus. I thought it was. I thought it was funny. The typical gabagool does not know how to speak Italian and is deeply convinced that Italians are exactly like television stereotypes. Gabagool. Sorry, my brain has been mush for a month. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. That's because you aren't drinking. You got to get some alcohol in your yeah, system. Yeah, you got to get some. Might be. It could get be the COVID. Talking and yeah. Ashlyn. It's <laughs> definitely not the COVID. Oh, by the way, last night I'm at a restaurant and this guy's like, yeah, just like you. He's like, I had uh, the vaccine, duh, duh, got COVID. So I'm, I, I really didn't, it didn't affect me. But then we kept being like, so what's there to do around here? And he goes, there's a restaurant down the street. Um, can't remember what it's called. Uh, they have like coffee and stuff. I'm like, okay. He goes, and then down the street, there's another. Um, and I'm like, this motherfucker has the COVID fog. Dude, yeah. the, the COVID <laughs> brain fog for me, is like a very real thing. Like I keep, like I'm, I, I, we're starting work on the outlaws in like a right. week. Yeah. And so like I'm doing last minute revisions on the script, trying to punch it up, add mm -hmm. as many jokes as I can. And I'm just, I, I, I'm like, losing my place in the script i forgot right. what i've read i like will like try to come back to it and be like not remember the scene pro i'm like what
I've been working on this movie for like two years. I'm like, I know it inside and out and I'm having a hard time just like wrapping my head around it. And Ironically, you need to have a Corona. I need to have a Corona. Yeah, you do. And and I can't taste. That's another thing is I'm like, you pay so much for this goddamn wedding for the food and drink. I can't taste or smell anything. Oh, really? Oh, you have that. You don't. You can't. Oh, yeah. Can't take nothing. 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 Wow. It's, oh, man, that sucks. I can huh? taste. Uh, I, it's not, not even a gabagool. It's not. I'm a little <laughs> bit of a gabagool. Uh, I, can't taste, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't Honky taste. I can't taste a little bit of hot sauce. So, like, I'm just pouring hot sauce on everything. Yeah. Cool. And just, like, damaging your tongue. Yo, totally. <laughs> well, that's why you're getting the fucking diarrhea, bro. It's not COVID. It, it's just from the mountain of hot sauce. <laughs> diarrhea. I think I think it's just, like, I. the rest of my senses are like, ooh, that's something. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a little, that is a flavor. Yeah, right. so when your tongue finally reawakens, it'll just be scorched. Uh, it's just burnt. It's just stored, right. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, and I just ate like nothing but like scolding hot soup and stuff for a week. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so wait, you can't feel a temperature either? Or? <laughs> yeah, it's like a numb mouth. This is like post dental work. Yeah. No, I think, I think like it's warm is like I can, f- it's, I can tell that it's something. Like I like it. If it's oh. like a, a warm, a warm <laughs> soup. Well, cold too. What about cold? Like, what about cold? Like ice cream. Yeah. What about like frozen? Nah, I've tried. I've tried like a popsicle. It doesn't do much. It doesn't do much. Uh, yeah. no, I'm sorry. Wow, but the hot is the breakthrough. Can you hear yeah. us? <laughs> I can. Yeah, that didn't. That wasn't effective. You're a stupid <laughs> dumbass. Okay, good, because we've been talking for like f- fucking fifty minutes, so that's good. That's good. Um, that you can hear gabu <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, oh my! Boy, wow. Oh my mm, god! Wow! 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 wow. Sopranos. Oh my god! Hey, do you guys? You want to see? So- there's something that I stumble upon um every five years or so uh okay. a- out of my my. Look at what I found, dude. Oh, dude, that's My from freaking like original chain wallet, man. Describe to the audience what mm-hmm. you are holding up. So I'm, I've got a, my leather smiley face chain wallet. Wow. That I purchased from Hot Topic and probably, I don't know, maybe. Give it to me, baby. That must have been like 96, 95 or 96. Yeah, dude. But I feel I'm like not, I re... Hey, it's pretty fly for a white guy. I refine this thing like every five years, I feel. And then I took it away. I feel like every time you refine it, I'm right there with you when you're like, <laughs> when you're like look what me. I just dug out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like a smiley <laughs> face chain cool. wallet. No, that thing is uh, fucking sick. Cool. Are we getting Carl Jr. or not? <laughs> did you guys rock chain wallets or what, dude? Yes. There's no way Durs did. No, Durs <laughs> He's did. He's a Muppet Babies uh, fan. Fuck yeah. you, Rugrats, boys. <laughs> Rugrats. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I had a uh, hemp necklace chain wallet, which was even <laughs> crunchier. Like the chain was hemp? Yeah, the chain yeah. was hemp. I made it. I it was I was what? by the time I was a senior in high school I think I, I think I just really wanted people to know that I smoked weed uh-huh. so like I made I had multiple hemp necklaces that I would wear right. I had a hemp oh, bracelet no. I had a hemp belt and I had a hemp chain wallet right All just right. letting people know like this guy is loves hemp but like right. hemp. Just being a product of like marijuana, right? But you don't. Nobody smokes hemp. It's just like right. But you know, if you if you rock a lot of hemp, people are are gonna assume that you smoke weed. I feel like that's what I was going for. I think like nowadays, like or you're just resourceful. That's true, Kyle. Yeah, like hemp people have changed. That is that is not. If you know me at all, you know you know that I'm not. It's a resource nowadays. Nowadays, it's like nowadays. If you're using it, you're like resourceful, utilitarian, and fucking also smoking hella weed, bro. I <laughs> guarantee you, uh, the percentage of people who have a hemp product, ninety eight percent of them smoke, smoke weed. weed. Yes, they believe <laughs> yeah. in the plant. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And two percent of them didn't know the thing they got from their son for Christmas was made of hemp, but he's just like. Uh, open it up, mom. How do you like that? <laughs> you, it's it's it. actually a hemp made candle. <laughs> do you like your sweatshirt? It's made of weed. <laughs> it's soap, but it's like it's like hemp soap. Actually, uh, hey, grandma, <laughs> put on the scarf. It's made of weed. <laughs> 
<laughs> the grandma's like, you could have just got me like CBD oil and that yeah. would have been fire. Right. And the grandma's like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I rip. Right? <laughs> Pulls a fucking bowl out of her butthole. Smoke weed every day. Hypothetically. Cool grandma. Ripping grandma. Yeah, bro. I have a bowl in my butthole. <laughs> Don't huh? even trip, bro. I'm ripping bongs. Brush. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I didn't know that anybody who had an actual hemp chain wallet, but uh, no. I, I went straight to Hot Big Topic ups. to get mine. I had that chain wallet. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude. You should have came with me and my crew. Me and How long was it? How long was it? Is the question. pretty long? It went down to about the knee, like zoot suit, zoot suit style. That's the whole. You don't want it to be long, right? The whole point is that well, that was a, that was a thing. Is like they there was when it was in style. Like after Blake uh, got that, people would <laughs> people would connect chains together and do long ass chains. Do you remember that? Right. Yeah. Also, fucking multiple chains, multiple. Bro. Oh, wow. Two chains. Two chains, and we ain't talking titty boy. Is that why he got that name? Because he had an extra yeah, long he... chain wallet? <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah, he uh, he had a pocket watch. Huh. He had a pocket watch and a chain wallet. And that is... I love two chains. I like when rappers make their make their rap name before they make any money. And they're like, <laughs> right. they're like you know what? I'm, I'm, I wear two chains. That's my thing, is right. I don't just have one chain. I have multiple chains, at least two, uh, two chains. And like, then now he's like, I don't. Although Lil, Lil Yachty is pretty good. It's like, it's not a big boat. It's a little yacht. It's a little Yachty. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a good one. that's a good name. That is. Like, remember when, uh, uh, when <laughs> nice like 50 car. Cent was rapping about like making like uh, 300,000. Right. <laughs> yeah. And you're like 300,000. Like, I mean, that's money. That's good money, but that's right. not. Great money. <laughs> That's not like you rappers don't rap about making three hundred thousand dollars. But anymore. was that like per was that per like verse on like a feature? That was like on his first album. If you're getting three hundred grand a feature, that's pretty good money. No, I don't I, think it was I don't know what the going price for a feature is. Because what's her name was saying uh what's her name was like I get fifty thousand a feature. No, that was his very first album. Are you sure that's even fifty cent? Three hundred thousand. Give me the rhythm and it'll be off with their clothes. Is that? I don't think that. Well, that's Luda. Jesus, I think, all the way from Canada. But I, am I connecting two? I think you're. I think you're smashing two songs together. <laughs> am I smashing them, or is that I, maybe the Thai uh, nation can let me know what's going on here? Yeah. yeah, I feel the community will let us know. <laughs> yeah, Thai nation, hook it up. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> What's the old stone brain doing? <laughs> oh, man, my man's a stoner, man. <laughs> you might have COVID. Yeah, you might just have COVID. You might have COVID. Mm. 300,000. You might have the COVID. Yeah, you're right. Two Chains, I feel I feel like Two Chains has like upwards of seven chains at this point. Oh, yeah. But can he rock more than two or does he feel like he's breaking all the rules? I, yeah, dude, that's a great question. I wonder if he like looks at himself in the mirror, sees the seven chains and he's like, I'm not living up to my name. Right. Just have two extremely expensive chains. Right. I right? mean, he rocks those Cuban <laughs> links, no? Right. That's... I do like it when when the when right. like hip hop stars get to the point that like like how Drake and Jay-Z don't really fuck with chains anymore. Mm, OK. And and they're like they're they've right. gone past like needing yes. to prove that they have money and right. then now they're just like obviously we're very right. rich. I don't need <laughs> yeah. to right. I don't need to wear a million dollars around my neck. They're iconic. Uh, they're not trying to prove anything uh, with gold. Anymore. And that's why and that's why I don't wear chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You're an icon. And that's why. No! Yeah, and that's why I do it. That's why I, that's I feel exactly like that's I why uh, you you refused Robert De Niro's watch guy. You're like, I don't, right. I don't need that. Nope, I got I'm my gonna wear guy. this. Um, I'm gonna wear this little Casio watch, and you know, G Shock is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like Jay Z is going through a thing. Maybe he's coming out of it right now, but where he started to dress kind of like a teenager again. Like he was, he wore like business suits when he was like, I'm not a business, I'm a business man. Yeah. But then recently he was like, I'm going to grow my hair out, get a little. Wear bucket hats. Yeah. Kind of just do like sweatsuits a lot. His hair looks really cool. I like his hair. I kind of feel super sorry for Beyonce because she keeps it together so well and she's so, she's such a goddess. And then Jay Z has just started slipping. Like, just he's just comfortable. He's just being comfortable. Slipping like what? He's cozy. He's just being cozy. 
He's just being cozy. He's 50. Ah. He's a 50 year old billionaire. You know what I mean? He's just like, all right, let him be cozy. Beyonce is equally as successful as this man. And she looks fucking amazing. Yeah, but that's also that is Beyonce's thing is like looking fantastic. Yeah. Woke up like this. Woke up like this is her, right? Jay-Z's thing was never how good looking he was. But but Durs just brought up a very good point where he was like super like suit and tie like yes like right. ha- he looked like put together he looked like a business man because well, he was trying to like run Rockefeller for a while and then I think he realized he's a he's a pajama guy yeah he wants to be cozy and make some fucking music and just chill dude let him chill I agree and I lo- I love yeah that. fuck you Blake I love that for him I'm just saying honestly dude let him fucking chill I'm st- what the fuck uh, no I I'm down for that I just feel bad you're being a gobble ghoul yeah. I just I'm just like it's so wild that Beyonce is just so more like so much more put together at this point and still just like bringing the heat where like jay-z just kind of yeah. went into like i just play video games now he's he's basically the they're the rap version of king of queens you know <laughs> yeah but like find, find he's, me he's uh, kevin james kevin james <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna say find me a couple and beyonce is the banging ass wife that i where, forget her name. i'm just a cave man where is there a couple where is there a couple where like the guy is the one who's way more put together the uh, <laughs> it was, you know what I mean, like this is par for the course. K Fed, K Fed, and Britney. <laughs> it doesn't happen all that often. Usually, guys uh, fall 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 apart. Oh, I got. What about uh, Pink and uh, who was her dude? The Excite Bike rider, Matt Hoffman. <laughs> what the the athlete? Purple side. Yeah, I feel like they're both in. Bro- I feel like Pink is way more put together than him. He's like a skater. X Games, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, man, I'm just spitballing. I'm trying to think. I'm racking my brain. Like, there's got to be a couple. <laughs> that was like a bad example. Dude, you're <laughs> being a gob of ghoul. Fucking Durs, get off my back, dude. God damn, I'm trying over it. <laughs> the only example's got to be Gavin Rossdale. Well, what did you try about? No, dude, he's all riled up. He's he's go, on- Hey, what? Bitch, go watch Rugrats. He's all, get your Rugrats ass out of here. Oh man, Muppet Baby. He's he's <laughs> kicking with uh, Bobby D, man. He's 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 aggro right <laughs> yeah. now, man. Okay, let's just say I'm I'm down here in Alabama having a good time. <laughs> also, three hundred thousand is three hundred thousand from the song Yeah, and it's a ludicrous lyric. Mm-hmm. And he's okay. saying my pinky is valued over three hundred thousand. Okay, so... Uh, but what about the ring on it? A huge flex. Perfect. And okay. Says, let's, uh, let's drink. you the one to please. Ludacris fill cups like double Ds. So I was wrong oh, in the... In the pretty funny. Hey. I was wrong in the, in the <laughs> lyric that came right by. Ludacris is the funniest rapper? I mean, Ludacris... We got to give him flowers. Yeah. But it is, it's not 50. It's Luda. And I knew that. Thank you, Kyle. Good job, Kyle. And I think have we given Ludacris his flowers on this Thank podcast you. before? Because that yeah, motherfucker oh, has so many hits. Yeah. So we many have. Hits. Look at the list of. We gave him a little yeah. bit of flowers one time, but yeah, go ahead. I mean, it, it just hit on hit on hit on hit. The guys, and I think he's the he might be the one of the funniest rappers. Definitely, right? like one of the wittiest. Jers, that Definitely. poses a great question. Funniest rappers, like rappers that crack me up. Some rappers are so funny. Eminem is very funny. I was going to say Eminem also has a, an extreme amount of whip. A wit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gabagool! Oh, my God. <laughs> COVID. Damn, COVID. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> mama. Uh, I, have to, I have to give flowers to my buddy, Matt Broussard, uh, a comic. Okay. I, I said... Uh, on our last podcast, I, I said something uh, about how Gen Z and millennials, how millennials, uh, I forget the joke exactly. You stole but, the joke? <laughs> yeah, essentially. Essentially. <laughs> and he. Flowers. Yeah, no. And then he hit me up and he was like, hey, you said my joke. Uh, next time, could you like. Uh, you know, mention that is my joke. And I'm like, is it your joke? And uh, and I thought I had made the joke up, like just in the moment. I thought I'd like just was was spitballing and came up with that. And right. then I looked at his uh, <laughs> clip and sure enough, it's like a, basically exactly his bit. Mm-hmm. So I think I, I inadvertently stole. Which one was this? Yeah. What was what's the bit? I'd like to. Let's tell the joke. I'd like to know it with the comedian. I'm pissed it was. Now. Well, look at Matthew Broussard. He he. 
I, and I went back and listened what I said, right. and I kind of butchered it. But it was essentially it. it I mean, COVID brain, but it was essentially uh, that like millennials, we fought for gay marriage, and that was where we we stood. Oh, and then right, Gen right, right. Z are like, yeah, but now we're all polyamorous, and we all fuck each other, and there's no thing such thing as gender. And then all the like old guard that didn't believe in gay marriage for millennials are finally like, okay, the gays can get married. You guys win, oh. essentially. And I mean, I butchered the joke on on our podcast. Right. And uh, again. And right again. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call I wouldn't claim this one. That was an observation. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. And uh and at first second I was like, I it must have been like where I uh you know, it, that idea is just kind of floating around. You know how that happens a lot in comedy where it's like it's just in the ether and two mm -hmm. comics sort of had the same idea at the same time. Right. But then I went back and looked at it and it was so close to his actual joke. Right. That is definitely more well written that I must have seen it uh, right. the week so, before uh, like, when I was shooting nights. And I must have. Is, is this yeah. your apology? Is this your 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 apology kickoff. Oh, yeah. so we're into it. Yeah. Okay. So I would I would like to apologize yeah, to Matt Broussard. He's a very very funny guy. Very funny. Very funny. Okay. It seems like I took his joke. I did not mean to, and I I want to give him flowers. He's super funny. I had him on House Party years ago, and he's he's a great stand up comedian who deserves his flowers yes, and yes. doesn't deserve a guy snaking his bits, man. You know. Which I did not mean to do, but I I give him them flowers. I love you, very How much. How many drafts he d he DM'd you about this or texted you? He MD'd you. Uh, yeah, he DM'd me. And big shout out to him too because you know I'm I'm more established than him or whatever, and I could see that it could be like a nerve wracking thing for a younger comic to reach Dude, out yes. and say something. Right. And so right. like big shout out to him to actually just go, hey man, and he was very nice about it and very polite and. Didn't accuse me of stealing, which was nice. I, I would like to compliment you right now. Use my compliment up on you for mm. this whole uh, what you're doing right now and how you're handling this situation, how Matt did and how you are. I think that this is fantastic. Yeah. Well, I mean, it sucks because in the, especially in the stand up, you know, you get it out there. You own up. It's fucking big. It's good, dude. It's good. Especially in the stand up community. It's yeah, like it's that's that's the. the the worst thing you can do is be a joke thief. And and right. that is not what I am. And I, and I, it seems like I must have watched it the week before when I was doing night shoots and it went in one ear out the other. And I just didn't, didn't put it together that it was someone else's bit when I was just spitballing on the podcast. Well, hopefully you, you talking about him right now, it will give him some shine. Cause uh dude seems very funny. He is mm -hmm. funny. And, and, and actually go and watch his joke. Uh, uh, find him on the Instagram and and watch. Uh, he has a clip up and watch the joke. It is very funny and he's he's much funnier than I'm giving that joke credit. Uh, well, then for. come back and listen to Adam's version. <laughs> yeah, of that and compare. <laughs> no, I wa watch me just bur fuck butcher it. it. <laughs> this guy's more established. What the fuck? I I like the idea that he. he he DM'd you and he goes, hey, uh, you kind of said my joke. I was wondering if you could do it again, but better. Because <laughs> it like you fucked up my shit. Can you do it some justice? <laughs> and now you're doing it worse. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, God. This guy's really funny. Fantastic. Here's what he said. Um, <laughs> gay, so marriage, there's marriage and gay... People. I'm telling you, man, COVID brain is a real thing. I'm yeah. I'm gonna have a, a a hard time at the at the wedding giving my vows. It's mm -hmm. just gonna be all wizard rap lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> the only <laughs> thing I can what? remember. Yeah. Bro, along with age comes wisdom. Along with knowledge comes power. Absolutely. I can't wait for the apology after the wedding. Oh, that's gonna be great. Uh as they say, motherfucking wizards never die. Poof pow surprise, what's with your eyes? I remember I'm from so my vows, I was like, um, no jokes. I think I did one joke at the very end, but wasn't even like a hard joke. I was like, this is my wedding vows. Who'd you I'm steal like, from? <laughs> <laughs> you pulled out your cell phone, I remember. You were like, I got this written in notes. Oh, yeah. I was ahead of the time. You were one of the first. I read it off a cell phone. I got some flack for it. I'm like, yo, it's 2000. Uh, 11 or whatever like come on now let's all go well, you you love your iphone rappers are rapping off of cell phones <laughs> that's true um that's true
But I remember the drafts just like kind of going through being like, no, that's not going to, what am I doing here? Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, I'm going to give my shit. I'm going to give my uh, shout out to uh, just Italian people in general. Thanks yeah. for letting us have Thanks fun for, today. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Italian. We understand we are being gabagools. <laughs> Italian Americans? Italian Americans. I feel like Italian people have always been su Italian Americans just like really always been super down for getting some jokes in. And I just I love doing <laughs> I love doing a terrible Italian. I, and that is something that I, you should. I like that you're pointing out. They've always been down for getting some jokes in, um, it, it's, and that's gone unnoticed. Okay. Let's go. And I want to give and, a shout uh, out to the Puppet Bros of Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> Keep doing your thing. And I know Chris Pratt's gonna do Mario Justice. It's me, Mario. <laughs> I know he's gonna do. The role of Mario. <laughs> I like how we we talk, we talked about that for a nana. Who else is in the movie? Who else yeah. is in it? We started off with it's just Chris Pratt. Who else? Well, Jack Black is Bowser. Isn't it Charlie Day's Luigi? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. he Italian? Is Charlie Italian? I don't think so. That's no Bob Hoskins. <laughs> is Day short for Day? I know he. I know he represents like uh, New Orleans. Daytona. <laughs> I know he represents New Orleans pretty hard. He's like up in in the like. Does he? Yeah, he's always doing the like Mardi Gras hella hard. I'm like, this dude does it right. Mm. But he's from. I don't know Rhode if he's Island. In yeah, he's not from New right. Orleans at all. I yeah. feel like you know how it is. You go down there and you get... Well, everyone shot movies there. I mean, I love it, New Orleans, too. Yeah. It sweeps you up. Yeah, I was just going to say, right. Adam, don't you, you're not from there and you love it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I love New Orleans. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's like John Fogarty. That's like Fogarty in fucking Credence. It's like that dude's from the Bay Area. There we go. And you're mm -hmm. like, wait, but everything's Bayou music. How do you yeah. right? <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you do that? Sweeps you up. Yeah, and Sweeps I want to apologize to everyone that he hoodwinked. We're sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. We take, we, yes. we, Disappointed! <laughs> yes, we take full responsibility for Fogarty and uh, his swamp claims and all that. Yeah, our we, bad. Yeah, sorry uh, about it. Uh, and I want to um, thank you boys for... Okay. Uh, for letting last week, I needed, uh, well, you know, people were working and I had the COVID and it was nice to, uh, we had a down week last week where we didn't do the pod mm -hmm. and, um, you know, thank God, cause I would have been a total fucking mess last week. So thank, thank you guys for, for pushing this and, and letting, letting my COVID brain heal a little bit. You're welcome. Well, you're welcome. Well, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for giving us a week off. I enjoyed it. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll say I I I, en I enjoyed coming back and talking to you guys. My gosh, I missed the hell out of you. Yeah, God. <laughs> I did too. This is an absolute chore for me. Uh, <laughs> I have an op I my here's my apology, Kyle. Friendship. I'm sorry we're still friends. Um, I, I don't want to be that black cloud over you. So sorry that we're we're pressuring you into this uh, yeah. this friendship. It's yeah, super rough. I loved the week off. It's uh, rough to do this with you guys every week. No, sir, Just I don't kidding. like it. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding with you guys. No, yeah, I'm serious. he's All kidding. Right. He's hey, joking. Hey, and guys, this is yeah, another another episode. Of <laughs> this, this is, is important. important. Gabagool. Nope.